Okay, another day. We decided to go to this awesome area. Teapua, New Zealand. Looks amazing. Did anyone want to play a go? <laughs> so, the Pohutu Geyser is a geyser in the Watakarawara Thermal Valley Rotua in the North Island of New Zealand. The geyser is the largest in the Southern Hemisphere and among the most active in the area, erupting to 20 times per day at heights of 30 meters, or for my fellow Americans, 98 feet. Smells like rotting egg. The name Pohatu is being translated as either big splash, explosion, or constant splashing. As you can see, it's fitting. A lot of Nihongo right there, a lot of Japanese food. <laughs> That's so Japanese. Look, yeah. they're so nice. <laughs> now once they start the uh, scholarship inside the school here, they will actually have to learn how to carve their first pendant out of the ancient tombs that our ancestors used. And now once they do move on to this drill piece here, or our ancient tombery, uh, we would actually bind the jasper tip to the bottom of that and apply two counterweights on both sides, adding weight to the stone. Uh, once we apply a bit of flax fibre or harakeke from our plant here outside to the top, working similar to a fire starter, we would actually pull those strings. Now spinning and drilling through that, uh, that ponamu or stone, taking roughly an hour each millimetre to drill through the ponamu itself. Wow. Uh, teaches our students how to appreciate the material. Also a very good thing in life, called patience. <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. So after eating some good food, we went to see the cultural performance and what we've been waiting for all day to see. The Hawk. <laughs> Witty. 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 This action here simply means life. 
thus bringing life to the words we sing. This is a very unique way we, the Māori people, interpret our song. Highlighted by our favourite pastime game, the Titi Thōrea. Now the Titi Thōrea is thrown from player to player, in time with the music, in hopes no one drops a stick. Titi So in case of you didn't know, the haka is a ceremonial Maori war, dance, or challenge. Haka are usually performed in a group and represent a display of a tribe's pride, strength, and unity. Actions include the stomping of the foot, the protrusion of the tongue, and rhythmic body slapping to accompany a loud chant. The words of a haka often poetically describe ancestors and events in the tribe's history. Traditionally, yes, you're still going to hear my voice, the haka was performed when two parties met as part of the customs around encounters. For example, the haka was used on the battlefield to prepare warriors mentally and physically for battle, but it was also performed when groups came together in peace. Today, haka are still used during ceremonies and celebrations to honor guests and show the importance of the occasion. Haka are also used to challenge opponents on the sports field. The New Zealand rugby team, the All Blacks, performed the haka before each match in a stunning show of strength and physical prowess. This is believed to make haka more popular worldwide, where it's even been displayed in movies as well. And in my personal opinion, the haka is amazing. <laughs> Hello, weird transition, but currently at a park. That's steamy, danger, thermal area, cold temperature. Whoa, 100 Celsius. I don't know what that is. I'm American Fahrenheit. Okay, so I didn't really talk about what I just saw. We got to see the haka and the, and the awesome performance. That was amazing. I didn't really want to record myself watching that because I was like, <laughs> I didn't know how to take it in, but it was so cool. Great experience. So far, I love New Zealand. Everyone's so nice, so genuine big difference right there and so helpful and yeah it's so far it's amazing I can't wait to see what to uh, find next this is interesting it's so warm and so white why did the chicken cross the road actually that's not chicken because it was not a chicken Ding! 37 New Zealand dollars Mumbai so it was raining, now it's not. The sun's coming out, then it'll be raining five minutes later. New Zealand weather is very strange. Okay, just checked out a spot for the first time with this person. Appreciate it, by the way. <laughs> and now we're about to eat some Thai food. Let's go. Thank you. 
size of cone is It was delicious. So this thing here is where anybody all over the world signs it and gives them a little note. I said it was delicious. And I am tired, so goodbye. Down in New Zealand if you're not at Pack and Save. Oh, it's a grocery store. So apparently this just looks like a, a custom. Now I'm in New Zealand. <laughs> this was not planned at all. 